the 25th of October 2009, Baghdad bombings were attacks in Baghdad, Iraq, which killed 155 people and injured at least 721 people. Attack. The attack was caused by two suicide car bombs in a minivan and a 26-seat bus which targeted the Ministry of Justice and the Baghdad Provincial Council building in a quick succession at 10.30 a.m. local time. The Ministry of Municipalities and Public Works, which is approximately 50 meters from the Justice Ministry, also sustained severe damage. Among the dead were 35 employees of the Ministry of Justice and at least 25 staff members of the Baghdad Provincial Council. Among the wounded were three American contractors. A bus carrying children from a daycare next to the Justice Ministry was also hit killing the driver and two dozen children on board as well as wounding six other children. The blasts badly damaged St. George's Church, the only Anglican church in Iraq. Canon Andrew White reported body parts had been blown into the church by the explosion and that a humanitarian medical clinic which operated on the site had been destroyed. It was the deadliest attack in Iraq since August 2007 and took place very close to where car bombers killed at least 120 people at the Foreign and Finance Ministries two months earlier. Perpetrators Iraqi Deputy Interior Minister Ahmad al kafaji told Adding Kronos International that the bombs were manufactured inside the Green Zone, in a location right next to the blasts. Deputy Minister al kafaji said, It seems the individuals who carried out the attacks had rented a house or commercial premises in a side street of the area they intended to target and gradually sneaked in the bomb-making materials. On the 11th of March 2010, Iraqi police arrested Munaf Abdul Rahim al-Rawi, the mastermind of the bombings. His capture also led to the death of al-Qaeda leaders Abu Ayyub al-Masri and Abu Omar al-Baghdadi. Al-Rawi was called the governor of Baghdad and masterminded many of the other Baghdad bombings since August. 2009, according to Major General Kasi Mata, a Baghdad military spokesman. Political effects. Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki had been trying to portray the country as safer than the period of heavy violence in 2006-7. Withdrawal. He faced re-election in January 2010, and much of his popularity had rested on the safety of the country. The bombings prompted some Iraqis to reconsider their support for the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister responded, stating, The cowardly acts of terrorism which occurred today must not weaken the resolution of Iraqis to continue their journey and to fight the followers of the fallen regime, the Ba'athists and Al-Qaeda. U.S. President Barack Obama strongly condemned the attacks. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said in a statement that the U.S. 